Hi everyone, my name is Prakash and welcome to Roda. So here we'll be discussing about uh, after a lot of lot of requests from students that how to attempt verbal in CAT, right? So basically, uh, you know that I'm a, uh, more of a QA and RDA faculty, but in five six years back in verbal I got some ninety eight point five percentile, right? So I'll be I'll be sharing my experience actually that how uh, as a uh, kind of you're not so good at verbal. Right. Even if then also you can is get some decent percentile in verbal actually. Right. And there's nothing to worry about with and from the lowest score in mocks actually. Right. So basically, for example, uh, acha. Before that, we have the test series. Right. So we have that free test series going on, and this is again a very uh important information for all those guys who are giving CMAT. So if you uh, if anybody is giving CMAT, you can share this information that CMAT uh mocks are going on, and we have same day analysis. I'll put the enrollment links in the comment, right? So basically, CMAT is the exam for uh up for tier B plus kind of colleges, right? So like uh, colleges like KJ Samaya and all are famous ones in in from CMAT. Okay, still this this year don't know that they will release vacancy or not, right? But still, uh, tier B upper upper side colleges they are famous, right? So anybody uh, who is interested, you can say that that this uh, CMAT test series is going on. Uh, we are conducting it for uh on every uh. Every week, actually, one mock every week in the form of CMAT, CMAT, previous year test papers, and same day analysis will go. So once you put enrollment through the uh, through the link in the comment, right, then you can actually give all this uh, tests up here, right? Chalo, so let's start, guys. Right? Uh, so let's start, guys. See, so basically, how do you uh, what how do you attempt this verbal part in exam actually, right? So see, basically. You got to understand that the verbal in CAT is a very logical section, right? It is not a, it is not those that that kind of section actually where you have to learn a lot of grammar and a lot of lot of a uh, a kind of uh, basics of verbal should be great actually to get score ninety nine percent die, right? That's not the case here. Okay, so it's more of a kind of a logical exam in exams like CAT in verbal, right? Because there actually, if you see till last year, if there are thirty four questions. They used to ask almost six RCs there, right? And six RCs were were been asked, right? So basically, if even if we have not uh, studied verbal to a great deal, right? So you can attempt this RCs initially, okay? But there the problem comes that then you have that in depth questions many time, right? That about the inference, the options look very closer, right? So basically, what advice uh, I will be giving you is that whatever mocks you have given in verbal, right? So those revise those basically verbal mocks. You got to revise actually verbal mocks and sectionals. Okay, so I'm a strong believer in this that in verbal mocks and sectionals actually improve your verbal because this is always about uh, minimizing that gap here. Okay, so basically let's say for example uh, out of twenty uh, five questions for in verbal you attempt let's say for example eighteen to twenty questions and let's say out of eighteen to twenty questions. You, uh, out of eighteen to twenty questions, let's say around eight to nine are wrong, okay. And this is the case with many people, right? So guys, it's not actually that tough, right? You got just got to be a bit smart, okay, in CAT, and you got to and use that experience actually, which you had at, at that time of giving mock, okay. Because you just need to understand this where this gap comes. What is the gap, right? From where does this gap come? What thought you had put? While marking those those answers, such that these eight nine questions were wrong, and what thought the author had put, be it RC or be it VA questions or be it the question center of the mock, right? So what they are saying in the text solution or video video solution, and what you thought, okay? Just try to analyze that gap, okay? And even in next four days also, you got to do the same thing before CAT, right? Just keep on analyzing that gap, right? And why that CAT gap comes and try to minimize it. This thing. There's nobody is perfect, right? So it may not be like you're absolutely perfect in verbal, but even if if you're be even if you're a bit smart actually, right? Then again, you can you can you can easily clear the verbal cut off here, right? So just try to see where does that gap comes, okay? Where does that gap comes, right? So all the previous mocks and all the previous sectionals which you're given till till now, okay? Just have a quick revision in this three four days, right? Okay, spend ten to twelve hours on verbal. 
few questions, few good RCs which you have collected, few good questions from mock. If you remember, just see that why, what thought you had put behind that answers and what thought the author, author had put behind those answers. Where does that gap come? Just try to analyze it and try to minimize it, right? It's not a great deal guys. I'm telling you, it's not at all a great deal. Today in CAT, if you are putting it uh, 20 questions, if you're attempting, right? Let's say in mock, you are, if you're attempting 20 questions and out of that eight are wrong, for example, right? It's just a thing of plus minus three in CAT, right? 20, 12 correct, eight wrong, bad situation, right? But just plus three here and minus three here, 15 correct and five wrong, great situation. Right. If you can do this 15 correct and 5 wrong in verbal in CAD, you're in absolutely great situation, situation, right? So this, so trust me guys, this two, three questions difference actually doesn't matter. It is not because much of knowledge actually. All these things are of, of two things, right? All these things, these two, three questions matter actually is one because of confidence. You have to have confidence and second is smartness, right? Attempt is smartly. Think over the questions which you're solving in verbal. Analyze, right, those questions while you're marking it. Use that experience of why did you make those wrong, right? Because more, now trust me guys, more questions you do wrong in the mocks and sectionals, right? The more experience you have right now. Okay, this is, this is, this is a very important statement I'm saying to all of you, right? The more sectionals, the more questions you did wrong. So the more questions you did wrong, you are more experienced actually. Okay. So once you are more experienced, use that experience in CAT exam smartly, right? Anyhow in CAT, if you attempt 18 to 20 questions, you will get eight to 10 correct, right? And rest eight to 10 wrong. It's just the matter of doing plus three and minus three here. And you are there through the verbal, through the verbal cutoff, right? So that's how it is, right? It's basically confidence and smartness, right? So basically confidence, be confident while marking the answer. But how does confidence come? When you, when, when you have analyzed and revised this your previous mocks actually. Okay. And from where does this smartness come? If smartness comes from those using that experience, right? Using that experience. The more questions you have did, you have done wrong. You have an idea that why those questions were consistently wrong. What kind of thought process your, your thought is cons consistently going on a certain side while reading a question. Right. Just get that thought back. Okay. And think from an author point of view, right? It's very, very important in verbal to think from author's point of view, right? Just try to think RC's question in, in from author's point of view, right? And trust me, if we have, if we, we are good at QA and LRDI, that means we are good at logic. If we are good at logic, that means there's no, there's no, actually no, no lacking in us that we cannot understand the author's statement, right? We can all understand the author's statement or the author's logic. It's just about using that confidence and smartness in the exam, right? It's just like cricket, guys. It's just like cricket. Maybe you are not that talented, like maybe like we are Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma, but still the other players hit a century, right? Okay. It's not that every, every day they, they will actually hit. Okay. So other players also will, will make you win matches, right? So that's how it is here also. We may not be that good with some of the guys getting 9900 in CAT, but we are that good that we can score 96 and 97 in verbal and maybe some plus, okay, to clear the good cutoff of, of all the uh, good colleges, right? So that's how have that confidence, have that smartness, attempt verbal, and basically again, once you're attempting the verbal, make sure that last 10 minutes, right? You have to always prepare for like in cricket, you prepare for slog overs in here. You could prepare for last 10 minutes, right? So initial and last 10 minutes are so important, right? In this last 10 minutes, always pick single questions. Minded guys, always, always pick single questions. All the VA questions, don't pick big RCs in the last 10 minutes, right? So all those VA questions, actually you can pick at, at that time. So those VA questions, the in last 10 minutes, if you can solve those four to five VA questions, you can be proud of yourself, right? So basically once you're attempting single, single question, no, you don't have that pressure in mind. Okay. In RC, suppose you picked up a big RC in the last 10 minutes, you started reading that RC. Okay. And now time is seven to eight minutes left. You're at half RC right now. Okay. Then again, 
यू अगेन स्टार्ट हो गया आर सी इज लुकिंग बिट अट टफ योर माइंड इज गोइंग अगे अरे यार सिक्स मिनट बचा हुआ है अगेन लेट्स कॉन्सेंट्रेट अगेन यू ट्राई टू इन्वेस्ट सम टाइम इन आर सी नो टाइम इन लेफ्ट थ्री फोर मिनट नाउ यू पैनिक ओके नाउ लेट्स पुट दी क्वेश्चन यार आर सी समझ में आया नहीं है क्वेश्चन देखते हैं ठीक है तो दैट्स आउ लास्ट का फाइव टेन मिनट्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैंडल एक्चुअली राइट तो वन दैट्स इन एल आर डी ऑल्सो पिक सम इन दो कंडीशन बेस्ट क्वेश्चन और डी आई बेस्ट क्वेश्चन इन वर्बल ऑल्सो पिक सिंगल सिंगल क्वेश्चन राइट तो दो क्वेश्चन लीव फोर फाइव क्वेश्चन सिंगल क्वेश्चन फॉर द लास्ट एंड दो इफ यू डू वन बाई वन इफ यू डू इवन इफ यू डू थ्री फोर क्वेश्चन लास्ट टेन मिनट्स यू आर वेरी गुड विद दैट राइट ओके तो दैट्स वाइट शुड भी राइट सो बेसिकली डोंट गेट दैट पैनिक मोड ओके स्टार्ट ऑफ विद सम स्टार्ट ऑफ विद सम स्मॉल लेंथ आर सीज और लेट गेट बाय दिस टाइम यू 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 नो दैट इन विच काइंड ऑफ आर सीज और इन विच काइंड ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन और पैसेजेस यू आर कंफर्टेबल यर राइट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दोज ओके पिक वन और टू पैसेजेस लाइक दैट एंड देन आफ्टर दैट यू कैन जस्ट कंटिन्यू इन द मिडल एज लॉन्ग एज यू वॉन्ट इट राइट एंड इन द लास्ट टेन मिनट्स ऑलवेज कीप फोर फाइव वी ए क्वेश्चन विद यू This year, I'm not sure that how many RCs and how many VA VA will come. That we don't know, right? But what if you, even if you're attempting VA in the end, right? VA in the in the middle. So just keep at least four VA questions. You leave for last eight minutes. Okay. So in last eight minutes, I don't want any of us to get panicked. Okay. Last eight minutes is very important to solve a VA questions or very very small RC, right? So which is very. Uh, uh hard to find in cat very small rc right or kind of a medium medium difficulty also and very small also both things is very difficult to find in the cat right so that's why those four va questions will do the job at the end right and just remember my words remember my word this can actually change your exam remember my words what i told one have confidence while marking the answers second use your experience okay and be smart while answering the question that means use the previous experience and always think while marking the answer think from author's point of view be logical right if you are good at if you are good at lrdi that means you are good at logic so think from author's point of view right and i'm sure that all of us can say let's say for a if example if author is trying to write some rc what kind of tone is there in rc right is the tone sarcastic is the tone uh, kind of uh, trying to uh, refer some pol- political situations is 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 it against those situation is in in favor of those situation right so that we can get logical right so once you get that logical part out of rc then the answering question becomes very important right so in cat va va is very much logical right so make sure that the logic is actually there once you are answering those questions okay All the best guys cat bilkul decimate karke aana decimate the cat okay thank you